Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pass props to a component in React. So here I have a basic React application running in my browser. I imported use state. I have this app component and I have another component called button. And I'm using this button inside my main component. So how do we pass props from main component into the button? And in this example, I'll, I'll simply change the text of the button. So remember, I have use state, and we're going to create a new state variable to represent a value that we're going to pass as a prop to the button component. I'm going to name it text, and we're going to create a set text setter function and use use state hook. The default value will be new button. So how do we pass this value into the button component? So the first thing you want to do is create a name for the prop name that you're going to be passing here. I'm using the name name. And in the brackets here, this is where we're going to place the actual value. That's going to get passed as a prop with this name, which can be anything you want, really. So in the button component now, you need to add a props argument. And because we're only using one argument here, I can safely remove the parentheses. Now, inside the return value of this button component, I'm going to replace the text of the button with props.name, because remember, that's the property name over here. So now, the only other thing you might want to do is destructure the props. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new variable, const, and I'm going to say name, again, it's from the button, equals props. And so if we destructure it this way, then we don't have to use props.name in the button. We can simply remove props here and use it as a name. It just looks a lot cleaner that way. Now, you can pass as many props as you want. Here, I'm going to pass a second prop, and I'm going to name just some random name, as like more, and just use a numeric value of one. And here in the destructure statement, I'm going to say the same property name, more. And on the button itself, now I can use the variable name, more. And when I refresh the browser again, you will see that it's also added to the button's text. So guys, at the very basic, this is how you pass props to other components in React.